Okay, hello. The purpose of this video is to show you a little tutorial how to navigate OneDrive and use it to complete online Word documents and submit to Canvas. And so first thing you want to do is log into ClassLink. This is my ClassLink right here. And uh, our desktops might look a little different, but everyone should have the Office 365 app. So you're going to open here. And you could do this from a Chromebook or any computer where you have internet access and you're logged into ClassLink. Now what I do is I share documents and digital worksheets with my students and so you will be able to just scroll down to where it says all and the most recent will populate at the top um, or you can always click on where it says shared and that information is going to populate at the top too. And so these are documents that were recently shared with me from other folks. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on where it says 2023-24 um, LCS letterhead. And so pretend that this is the assignment that you want to open. Now it's going to automatically open up an Outlook um, depending on the way that your computer is set up. It might just automatically open up into Word Online if that's saved as a default. But we're going to assume that that's not set up yet. So the documents are shared through the student's email and will open up in that email. And so the next step is you're going to click on this down arrow. Um, on the Chromebook, you may not get where it says open a Word desktop app. If you do ignore it, the desktop app for the Chromebook was discontinued last year. Instead, you're going to open where it says open a Word on the web and uh, this should be your default. So now what it's going to do is this document is now going to open up in, in Word online which is what we want. It will save in real time. It's much better than the alternative, which you could do all the typing, but you won't be able to save it. Okay, now this next step is crucial. Um, the first time I download, it's gonna download under the file name. I'm gonna wanna change that because when it comes time to submit the assignment to Canvas, I don't wanna see multiple files with the same file name because then I'm not gonna know which one to click on and submit. And I may run the risk of submitting a blank digital worksheet or the original document that does not contain my response. And I can't get agreed if I don't submit my work. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is click on the file name and you could change it. I'm gonna change mine to um, college recommendation letter because I use the letterhead in order to do that. And then when I get done with that, I'm gonna click out of there. And now you'll see that my file name has changed. And I'm gonna type my letter of recommendation here. Now, once I'm finished, I wanna to submit to Canvas. I'm gonna to go to File and I'm gonna choose Print. And this will have updated in real time, which is nice. So open PDF. And for my printer destination, I'm going to choose Microsoft Print to PDF, and I'm going to print it. You can decide where you want to save it. Um, I like to save under Documents, keep it simple, and I'm going to do um, College Letter Recommendation. I, I could change the title whatever I want. I just want to remember that this is a PDF file, and this is a name, so I know what it is I'm submitting to Canvas and where I'm saving it to. Okay, now it's time to navigate over to Canvas and all assignments are gonna be typed and submitted to Canvas. So I'm gonna navigate on over to my first assignment. Um, keep in mind, I don't have a real true student account and so yours may look a little different, but I'm gonna try to go as far as I can with you. So I'm gonna go to where it says start assignment and I'm gonna go to where it says, I think you can, you can upload directly from Microsoft OneDrive if you're already signed in. If you know how to use this feature, go for it. Otherwise, just very simply add another file. Oh, my bad. That's not what I wanted to do. Just kidding. Okay, upload file. You choose file location. I save this to my documents folder. So that's where I'm going to go. I see the PDF. Um, oh, gosh, where is it? 814.23. That's it right here. Okay, so letterhead recommendation file. This is the one I just saved. Excuse me. Okay, this one. College letter recommendation. So this is what I just saved. Excuse this one, this is one I did as a trial a moment ago, but this is what you saw me just save on this video. So I'm gonna click open. And it's very important that you make sure that you have the correct file name here. You don't accidentally submit a blank worksheet or the wrong file. You can leave comments blank and then you're gonna click submit assignment. 
Now the screen will look slightly different if turnin.com is enabled. Now this next step is super important. So I want to make sure, even though I saw the confetti, which was nice and cheerful, I want to make sure that the submission process finished, which is, as a student, my responsibility. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to click on grades, and it just takes one moment, but it can make all the difference. And what I want to do is I want to go to the assignment, which is student questionnaire, and I want to see that there is a paper icon. If there's a paper icon, this submitted successfully. I can even open that attachment if I want to double check to make sure that the correct file is submitted. If instead I go here and I see a hyphen like here, this means that the file was not submitted correctly. This is really important because if you don't submit the file and you say later on, no, I submitted the file, I saw the confetti, I remember, I'm going to ask you, did you go to grades and confirm? So this is a really important step that takes less than 10 seconds. And that's all to it, folks. If you have any questions, just let me know.